here. Uh, this is the area right here that they're going to continue watching, but that will be moving over some uh, areas that just had a thunderstorm. We start to get rain cooled air, and sometimes it's hard for uh, a severe thunderstorm to maintain its strength and intensity when it's uh, moving over a cooler, uh, a little more stable ground, and that may uh, occur with this one right here, but they're still along that uh, sort of that leading edge, which has been severe for most of the day. There's a tornado warning right now for the Brunswick area. And uh, yeah, there definitely is uh, rotation with that. So if you're in Darien, you're clear from this threat of a tornado. Uh, but let's watch that closely. Can you put the velocity on? That uh, certainly is not something I, I wanted to see right at this second. But yes, there is uh, very clear rotation uh, right here. And the National Weather Service will have a decision to make here in the next two and a half to three minutes because uh, this rotation will make its way into the southern part of McIntosh County. It's not going to stick around very long. I would say by four o'clock, this rotation would be out here over the water. It's moving very fast, but it is something uh, we will keep a close eye on. We have uh, about another two minutes here in our tornado warning. And then we'll see, they may just, uh, how long does the severe thunderstorm warning go for McIntosh Four, County? 415. Okay, so what they're likely going to do is say, hey, there is some rotation with that. Uh, it's not enough at this second to prompt uh, another tornado warning. It's something we're going to watch very closely. And obviously here at WJCL 22, if there is another tornado warning, we will be the first to let you know. But as of now, this is a little more broad circulation that will cross over into uh, areas probably near or just south of Darien and make its way toward the Atlantic. And that would be occurring uh, probably uh, over about the next 10 to 15 minutes. So let's back our view out here. Uh, there's the tornado warning. Then we have a severe thunderstorm warning, which uh, in about another 60 seconds or so, this tornado warning will drop. What we'll do is just confirm that. We'll take a minute to do that. It has been confirmed that it has expired, but we still okay. have the All right, so what, they're, what they'll do is when they say expire, they say, okay, at 345, tornado warning and the threat of a tornado will have exited the areas within this red line. What they have replaced it with is this. A severe thunderstorm warning is pretty broad, but that could mean wind gusts 60 miles per hour, quarter size hail threat will continue until after four o'clock. So it's really this kind of uh, big area of thunderstorms in the red that has produced the severe weather this afternoon. Behind it is just some plain old rain. Temperatures are much cooler and the tornado watch has also been canceled for those areas. So what we will do is watch this expire here coming up in just a few seconds. Uh, we'll take one more check with the National Weather Service to see if they have any more word on this and then we will get you back, get you back to regular programming, but we'll take just a, another moment here. I would say in about 10 seconds or less, this is going to uh, drop out and then we will highlight what the threat is for our area and is a now a severe thunderstorm warning that is for McIntosh County. So right in here, uh, this is a little bit of circulation. Let's just go here really quick and show you. Uh, there's not a tornado on the ground with that. That's just some weak rotation. It is moving to the northeast. It is in an area that's tornado worn, but the National Weather Service said it is uh, not producing a tornado right now. It's something we'll watch. So there is a severe thunderstorm warning out for dairy. And let's do one final thing. Let's uh, sort of just back the view out. We'll show all of southeast Georgia and the low country, put the radar into motion. Yeah, we can hop up uh, and show all our counties here. Uh, we'll watch this line closely. There could be some stronger winds through parts of Bullock into Bryan and Liberty counties right now, uh, and that will continue its way to the east. There's no watches or warnings in Savannah or beyond. The severe weather threat has been down to our south. Uh, one more look at the National Weather Service. Did you have any more uh, reports? And then we'll get it back to programming. We did get two more reports. We have a report of hail uh, the size of a nickel in McIntosh County. We were talking about that earlier. And also we just got a report from Pierce County. Um, uh, one second. From Pierce County of an uprooted large tree um, from earlier today when that uh, cell passed through. So it did knock down some large trees and that was near Ben James Church Road. But those are the only two reports so far. Okay, and if anything else would develop here as we go through the next several minutes to next hour, we have WJCL 22 News coming up 
at 5 p.m. We will have a complete analysis of this afternoon and what you can expect for this evening. Our severe weather threat, though, once we get some of these uh, showers and thunderstorms to move through our area, will be diminished for the time being. Uh, we'll watch this. This is a pretty strong storm into Bullock, Northern Bryan, and Liberty counties. It is below severe levels at this moment, but it is something we will keep an eye on. Thank you so much for joining us here of our tornado coverage. We will let you know uh, coming up if we find any damage reports down to our south. I'm meteorologist Jeremy Nelson, Victoria Kukinos, our entire weather team keeping an eye on the radar for you. And make sure to check back with WJCL 22.